What's up, YouTube? This is Tubar Four TV. All right, so former NBA player uh, Nick Young on X made a claim. This is something that is, I don't know, there's been argued before on social media. Which, and this one I really think is a pointless, all of this stuff, some of this stuff is really pointless anyway, but a lot of this is super pointless. Anyway, he believes that the 2018 Warriors, the team with KD, uh, what was that team? I think it was Kevin Durant, Steph Curry, Clay Thompson, Draymond Green, and... Uh, former All-Star center uh, DeMarcus Cousins would easily defeat the Kobe and Shaq Lakers of the 2000s. Matter of fact, he said they would beat them in five. And uh, he said, quote, I love the Lakers, but the Shaq and Kobe team is not beaten 2017-18 Warriors. All this Shaq is the most dominant big ever stuff. They lost to Billups, Hamilton, Prince, Rasheed Wallace, and Ben Wallace 4-1. Respectfully, Warriors in five on both teams. So he's saying the Warriors would beat each of those teams in five games. Um, first of all, I don't understand why he picks – the weakest team of the championship era Kobe Shaq teams to compare against the Warriors. Why Why did you pick that team when Shaq was clearly starting to decline as a force? That team was besieged by injuries. That team had a 41-year-old Carl Malone and a growingly past his prime Peyton. Why didn't you pick the 2000 league? So 2001 Lakers, even the 2002 Lakers. Why would you pick 2004 Lakers? So that, that right there is faulty. Then you name individually players from Pistons team, when in reality, that was one of the best teams I've ever seen. Teams. That's the problem now, people. They look at individuals too much in a sports, in a team sport. That Detroit team was well coached and it was a team assembled with unselfish players who played their roles magnificently and they were like one in unison on the court but Nicky Young wouldn't know anything about that because you know well whatever and of course he would say this because he was on that 2018 Warriors team but this is the problem I have with this comparison right here. You're comparing t two teams that are consistent and, and, and are played for the era that they were constructed in. The 2001 Lakers wouldn't even be constructed in the same manner because the rules is different. The way the game is played is different. So it's stupid to make these comparisons. It's dumb. It makes no sense. If Steph Curry and Klay Thompson were playing in the 90s, their games would be a little different. Their roles would be a little bit different. What they were expected to do would be different. If Kobe and Shaq were playing today, things would be different. I could argue who would have got to the guard of Shaq, but... Shaq would have to actually change some of his, change a lot of his game because of the way the game is played today. 
can't just get the ball and back up into the post for 20 seconds. Game's different. Back then, Steph Curry and Clay Thompson been benched shooting uh, 10, 15, 23s in the game. Can't do that shit back then. So it's, it's stupid. It's pointless. All I'm going to say is, is that the Warriors, the 2018 Warriors, had arguably one of the deepest starting lineups in the history of the game. Can't argue that. I could counter that the Lakers were better coached. Ironically, by Steve Kerr's coach in Chicago, Phil Jackson. Oh, incidentally, I should say. Coincidentally. Um, I could also say about the Lakers that they were a little they were deeper bench wise. Remember, that was one of the weaknesses of the Warriors, their bench. After KD got there. Not in 2015-16, that was a strength, but their, their bench got weak. That's why they had to play more minutes to start in lineup. Um, also, the Lakers had, at that point in time, the most unstoppable perimeter one-on-one player, Kobe Bryant, and the most unstoppable force in NBA history, in my opinion, outside of Will Chamberlain, and you could argue George Mikan for his era, Shaquille O'Neal. Those are some <laughs> that's just, that, that that that's that's formidable, you know. Um so look, I don't know who will win the matchup. I mean, I don't like getting into that, man. Look, you could argue to Swaggy P, okay, ain't this the same warrior team that's so unstoppable that should have lost, should have lost to James Harden and them in the conference finals. I mean, what's the odds of a team missing 27 three-point shots in a row? And why didn't they change their approach when they missed their, their 13th three-point in a row? But it is what it is. They still lost by single digits, if I'm not mistaken. The same team in 2019, no, 2018, excuse me, that, no, I'm getting a little mixed up here. Yeah, 2019. Same team that struggled with the Clippers. Right? They struggled with the Clippers, the AC. So at the end of the day, I mean, uh, I, this, this one's, I don't, I never liked this, this matchup, man. I, I never liked it. I don't like when this one is presented. To be honest with you, I don't like when they say Warriors and Bulls. I don't like that because the game is too different. You know, you could debate it, but we don't know because the rules are different. That that Bulls team was constructed for that era. It was more of a defensive. Uh, it was more of a defensive team and a roster suited for the triangle offense. I could argue for the Warriors, Shaq struggles with the pick and roll. Um, as we all know, any team with Shaquille O'Neal, they're going to struggle with a team that plays with the, that plays the pick and roll a lot and ball movement. That's why the Spurs were formidable against the Lakers. So that that's a weakness that's in the Warriors' advantage. There's really no clear-cut answer here, man. Honestly, I would think if you played like a, a hybrid team, situation where some 90s or 2000 rules and some more physical some more you know more physicality and kind of be like a you know basically play the middle ground when it comes to the rules i don't know man I, i'm thinking maybe i guess you could say a close series i don't know it's stupid to be honest with you but that's how I look at it, at least, man. I don't really think there's no clear answer here. But to say that the Lakers would 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 surely struggle, that's stupid, man. But then again, a lot of these dudes have some horrible takes, man.
Anyway, that's all I got to say about it, man. These guys are 